Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of full stack Java projects, we are seeing a project employee management system and this project is developed using Spring Boot and Angular. In the previous videos, we have created the project using Spring Boot employee management system and we have created this entity class employee with the properties employee ID, employee name, designation and salary. And we have created a repository interface, employee repository, extends JPA repository. And we have created the controller class, a REST controller class with a method get all employees and which is used to get all the records from the employee table. So we are having this employees table to pull out the records from the employee table. We are going to invoke this method get all employees and we have annotated with get mapping employees. So in order to invoke this method, the REST API is HTTP colon localhost 8080 employees. And after that, we have created the Angular project. And in the Angular project, we have invoked this service. Now see, when we are in the project, let me terminate. And if you compile our Angular project front-end employee management system, ng-ser, Now, if you open browser and refresh your page, localhost 4200 employees. So we are getting the list of employees present in our database table. Today in this video, let us move to the next one. Let us insert the record into this employees table. That means we want to add an employee. We want to create an employee. So for creating an employee, let us create one REST API. So in this employee controller class, let us go with one more method. Let us go with one more method here. Public employee create employee. Create employee which takes employee object as an argument. Now, whatever the employee object you are giving, this object we want to insert into employees table. So for that, we simply use your return employee repository employee repository dot save and we have to pass our object here that's it so simple method by using this save we can able to insert this employee object into our database table employees table now then how you are going to get this employee object we are going to get this employee object in the form of a request body like this at the rate a request body now so in order to enter into this method, we need to do the mapping part. So the mapping is at the rate post mapping. Whenever we go with insert operation, we use the notation at the rate post mapping. Post means insert and the API is employees. API is what employees. So what is the API to enter into this method? HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash employees. And here we have to go with post mapping here. We have to go with what here? Post mapping. Let us import the respective packages. Now, and one more annotation we need to use over here is, uh, if you are not getting the request, whenever we are getting the request from Angular, and if it is unable to enter into this uh, REST controller class properly, we have to use one more annotation above the class. That is, we have to inform from where you are going to get the request. That is, by using one annotation at the rate cross origin, cross origin, origins equal to HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 4200. So, just we have to inform that we are going to get the request from this location. Angular application will be running in this location, localhost 4200. Import the packages. Right. So this completes our post mapping. We have created this create employee method where you are going to get this employee object as an argument in the form of request body. And by using this employee repository using safe method, we are inserting this object into the table. And the mapping is at the rate post mapping employees. Now, let us test this application, copy this API, come to postman tool. The method call now is post and paste the api now how to get the object data is here we have to click here body we have to click on body raw 
ra and here we, we are going to send the data in the form of json format we are going to insert the data in the form of json format so in json the data will be in the form of key value pair enclosed in curly braces like this in between curly braces provide our employee details like employee id go with the id like i'm going with four comma employee name colon the name comma designation designation that designation value within double quotes i'm just going with the tester then employee salary we are going salary like some eight thousand so once we fill the data in the form of key value pair in json format now we have to click on the button send here then here we are getting say status 200 okay means this object data has been inserted into the table now go to the table and check it so here when you say select start from employees select start from employees now see the record the new record has been inserted into the table right if i want to insert one more record just to come here and change the values employee id some five employee name some john then here we'll go with the designation some training training then salary some six thousand now click on send button so you can see status 200 okay the object has been inserted and if you check your table select start from employees you can see one more record has been inserted like that how many records we want to insert we can insert by using this postman tool by submitting the api here and the method call should be post and send the data in the form of key value pair and if you see our spring boot application see in our console window see the records are getting inserted here insert command you can see here the records are getting inserted now let us check whether all these records gets displayed on our browser screen from angular end so go to your angular project now see once we terminate let us terminate this Control c and let us build our project again using ngsf now after building the project now see if you reload our page and see you can see that new two records got displayed on our browser screen so this we are displaying from angular end right in the next video we'll be seeing how to accept this employee data in this video we have seen we are accepting the data in the form of json format so in the next video we are going to accept this input the employee details from user from this angular front end so we are going to create a form where we are going to accept the name designation and salary from user end and that form we are going to create using angular and we are going to invoke this rest api so what are the rest api we have created in order to insert the employee object into the table so we are going to invoke this rest api from angular to add an employer to create an employee into your employee database table so that's about in this video please subscribe like and share Thank you.